Hey guys, welcome back. It's Rick from Lifted Off Road here. Here I am at the post office and my truck won't start. I think I found the problem though. It would be the cap and rotor, I believe, are fried. The little pin, the little pin that contacts the center of the rotor is practically gone on inside the cap, the distributor cap. So I'm pretty sure that's why it's not starting but it's been running great all of a sudden I tried to turn it over after leaving the post office I turned it over it started for a half a second and then immediately stalled so it's turning over fine well except for now after I've tried to turn it over a few times the battery is going down but it acted like it wasn't it was either not getting spark or not getting fuel and I'm pretty sure I could hear the fuel pump running. I've got about half a tank of gas. So I don't think it's the fuel. It just wasn't, it just wasn't even trying to, to turn over. Or it was turning over, it wasn't even trying to actually start. So it gave me the idea that it wasn't getting spark. So that got me to take off the distributor cap. And I found this. And I don't know how well you can see that inside there. It looks like it's kind of burnt. I already scraped off some of the corrosion on the contact point, so that's why it's shiny like that. But the inside of the distributor cap looks like it's kind of burnt too. Let me see if I can get a better view of that for you. There's the distributor cap, and I, I can't really reach it. But yeah, that little center pin in there, I mean, there's barely anything left sticking out of that little nipple thingy so maybe it was there in that final turnover just fried it and blew it off because it was only it was only a little like um i don't know it looked like a little piece of carbon tip or something on there it wasn't metal or nothing so I'm pretty sure that that's the problem. I'm not positive. I got the tow truck coming on its way at some point because I don't have any way of replacing it right here. So I'm just going to have it towed back to the house and go get a distributor cap and rotor. I'm not going to do anything else to it because all the wires still look good and everything looks fine. That's the only thing I can find so far that actually looks like it could be the cause. So until I get those two replaced, I'll try it again and see if that fixes it before I start messing with anything else. So I'm just waiting on the, I'm just waiting on the tow truck. Kind of a bummer. I think, um, I think that's an Excel brand cap and rotor too. I mean, this lasted how long? I'm not even sure how long I've had that on there. It's been several, several thousand miles. So I think I'm going to go replace it with the factory, with factory parts, and see if it's any different. But anyway, I thought I'd short, should I shoot this short little video about what can happen to you out on the road? Kind of makes me want to carry a spare cap and rotor with me everywhere I go. <laughs> the kind of parts that you really don't expect to go bad on you. You know, unlike the belt, you know, belts are, spare belts are easy to carry around. Extra fuses and, you know, some of the extra, some of the parts that are common to go bad. Extra plug wires even sometimes. But the cap and rotor, that's something you don't normally think about. So, oh well. That's it for now. I will see you guys later. Have fun, stay lifted, and be prepared. Out.